All right, hey everybody, Jason here, and look at we have right here. They just got one in here. This is actually a two-door or two-wheel drive sport model, but this is our first ever that we've seen, 2024 uh, uh, Tacoma. We are at Franklin Toyota, which you can see right here. Franklin Toyota, Statesboro, Georgia. They have this one in. They gotta forgive the pollen. Um, it's been cleaned and everything, but we have, this is what it'll look like in an hour if you wash it again. It's pollen season here, so we got pollen. But this is a two-wheel drive, and this is a uh, TRD Sport. Here's the details on it. TRD Sport right here. And let me zoom in a little bit right there. Uh, 45. Here's your extra options. It's got the XP package in it, which is a nice package. They do really good with the XP package. I don't know if the XP package is available up north in the northern states, but down here it's very popular in the south. Beautiful package, gives you the wheels to set up. So we're going to take a look at this dude inside and out and take a quick peek at it and see what we think. But look at that right there. It has definitely got some very sexy lines. There is no doubt about it. Very, very sexy lines. And I, I like this more than I thought I would. I didn't think I'd be a fan of that, but it does really set that truck off and distinguish it well. So I like that factor. Predator steps on this one. Uh, we're going to dive in and look at some stuff here. I got the keys in my pocket. Damped tailgate, which actually is very damped. There we go. Damped tailgate. It's got the composite bed inside of here too, like the other one, which like I said, it's nice. You just put a bed mat in. I like that they relocated the uh, bed lights over there rather than having them back here where they uh, they worked, but I like them better where they are now. That's a good setup. Um, it still looks like you are going to be able to mount your, uh, if you want to put cargo pan or uh, molly panels in here, which is a nice feature. And, oh, that's tailgate's light. That's nice. That's like next to nothing. Very, very light. Very nice. I like it. Solid, too, right there, which is good. And, uh, yep, sweet setup. And let's take a look under here. Here's your uh, jack points for your lift jack, for your high lift jack. Interesting plate setup on this hitch design here, how they got that. That's kind of cool. Looks like a pretty beefy hitch. We got the TRD Pro as part of the XD package. XP package, you get the TRD off road or TRD Pro uh, um, tailpipe cover. It's an insert that goes right over top of that. There's that big silencer they got right there. Coil over suspension on here. Pretty sweet setup on there. There's a spare tire and a setup. Just kind of looking as I'm showing you because I've never seen this before either. I like that we got another actual anchor point right there. Now that's nice. We got the high lift point here. I like this because if you are going to, um, if you are going to winch, if you're going to put a winch on the back of this, you want a secondary recover point that you can hook to so that you can actually um, run a snatch block. So you'd have your winch set up on here, which I prefer to recover from the back. So you'd have your winch set up here, you run it out to a snatch block, bring it back, and you can lock on right here too. That's a very nice that they give you that recovery hook right there. I like that a lot. Do we got one here too? We do. Nice. That I love. Okay, I straight up love that they give you that. That's a real nice feature. Like I said, so even if you're being pulled out of the mud and you're dealing with, a, you know, if you're stuck in the mud, good. See, they're kind of buried in there. You're probably going to break this if you did it. That's kind of right in the way, but you know what? It's still there and it's something to work with. So that's, at least they give it to you. A lot of vehicles do not. So that's kind of a nice feature. But this here does worry me that you'd end up ripping that off using that. But I like the fact that we at least have them on the back. You're going to use your hitch most of the time. But like I said, if you are, if you are in it good having recovery points that you can put five or put three thousand pounds of weight here and three thousand pounds of weight there versus all having six thousand pound on one point it's a kind of a nice feature nice wheels um i like the wheels a lot we get a 265 65 r18 remember this is a two-wheel drive model and it looks like just standard mono tubes we are not getting uh like you do on the trd off-road where you're going to get the uh piggybacks on here but kind of showing you here what we can. We'll take a look underneath as well, too. In here, too. What do we got? Yep. Nice. Oil spring there. Front of this thing looks good. We got the cutouts and the valence down there for our recovery hooks. This is something I was wondering on. How far back are they? They're back. Um, if you are not buried too deep, you're probably going to be okay. If you're buried in pretty deep and you're for your nose down, this here, these, you're, uh, but see, that's pretty flexible. So you're probably okay there. 
um, as far as using those. But I love that these are these are pretty beefy, which is nice. And they are double bolted, I believe, right? Yep, double bolted in. But you got one here and you have one on the other side. So you have them. They are quite a bit back. They are quite a distance back, but they are there and they are, are going to be able to be used. Like I said, you getting those down might be a little trickier in the mud. Um, take a look under here. We have skid plate. Nope, that is not a skid plate. That is a fuzzy cardboard. But again, keep in mind, it's a two-wheel drive model. This is not a TRD off-road. Two-wheel drive model here. So to be expected, kind of showing you everything here. And then we will get inside this guy. Like I said, I got the keys. I like the fog light position a lot on these. And on a TRD Sport, I love the hood scoop. It just looks really nice. I, I really like the looks of it. Uh, you got the projector lights on there too, the LED projector headlights. Uh, you got pass-through vents right here too, which is nice. Uh, they just add a little character to it and had more cooling. So, yep, I like it. All right, so now let's dive in here. We're going to take a look at it. I love the blue. Very nice. TRD. That's really cool. Plastic, but very cool. The seats are pretty nice. Look at that. I like the two-tone seats. They remind me of like the ones that are in my, my 22 Tacoma I had. A little more gray in here, but I like the idea, and I like the two-tone stitching. It looks like this is a wider control area here across here than what we had in the other one. It just seems like it is. Maybe it's not, but it does seem that way. And we got a single glove box right here. What's below that? I'm seeing something just, uh, I don't know what's going on down there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Actually, it looks like just, like they forgot to put a floor in it. It's just this little piece of carpet is all there is. So there's really like no floor in the bottom of the glove box. That's where it must be where they bolt the safe in or something. I'm not sure, but this is kind of kind of weird that you can squish right down through that with anything you put in here. Not quite sure there, but interesting design. And uh, cup holders there. They always did pretty good with the cup holders. We got access to four cup holders here for us, which is a really nice feature. We have this nice ledge here, which is awesome. Love that ledge up here. That's a bonus thing there too. USB port for your passengers to charge your phones, which is really good. Good size glove box. Very nice size glove, glove, glove box. Cabin air filter right there. They give you your TRD first aid kit, which is a very nice thing there as well. And um, vent set. I'm just, like I said, I'm learning here and looking as I'm showing you. Uh, this one we don't, because it's two-wheel drive and it's not an off-road. We're not getting lockers and all of our buttons. But that's where all this stuff is going to line up here. The only one you get is your uh, auto start stop off. You got electronic parking brake now. The days of the old handle one are gone because we have disc brakes now. They can do that. You got a hold feature on there too to hold it whenever you're stopped. Uh, tow haul mode, your drive modes. Okay, this will, we'll look at that here when we get in there. But you'd also have your four-wheel drive selector and all that kind of stuff here too if you had to four-wheel drive. I like the tactileness of the buttons right here, which is nice. And I love knobs, okay? There are three knobs that should be in every single vehicle regardless of anything, and that is these three. Volume control for your radio so you never have to look at it. Okay, that's... I'm just checking stuff, but volume control should be there and your climate control and your fan speed. And I'm assuming um, doesn't look like you can control your modes here. We'll look when we get over in the driver's seat. Looks like you got to probably go to here for your modes. I'm guessing there's a quick for a defrost rear defrost uh, air recirculation and AC. So you got some of them here. It would be nice to be able to probably hit this mode. You can just tap this button and it'll show you on there. We'll look to scroll through that stuff. Uh, none of your displays like it was in the, the third gen up here for your, uh, you know, MTS crawl control. But keep in mind, this is two-wheel drive, but you do get a sunglass holder. So that's kind of nice. That was a missing feature in the other one was no sunglass holder. Um, I like the cargo pockets here that you get here. We got double, triple water bottle holders here. A little slot right there that's kind of nice, but plenty of room there. And this is nice. This extra pouch or pocket right here with the molly panel is really good. You can put molly on these and you have that nice feature right there. You got soft touch right here. Everything else is uh, plastic, but you do got soft touch here. And you got molly here and controls there. You got... Uh, USB, USB-C right here. What is this thing? That's a 12 volt right down there below it. I'm trying to get in there to see. There you go. 12 volt right there. So nice setup and it's kind of a cool handle. I like that handle position right there. It's just a nice feature and you got one here too. Now this one's a little different than normal. Sorry, we're looking outside. 
but that one's not a full wraparound handle it's kind of like a finger only type handle as you can see on there it's kind of kind of different but i all right sorry that phone cut out i mean i must have bumped it but we're gonna get back to we'll get back to the front here in a minute for you but back here we do have full lay flat seats as you can see all the way across this thing so uh you do get the lay flat seats in here this is a trd sport so you're not getting that hard plastic i don't know if the trd off-road will or will not but this particular one you do not get the uh, hard plastic on the back of it you do get nice storage back here which is a nice feature and there and you got the jack back here so that is a nice option in there i like that so we put this seat back up okay so we know we got that there now there is no more 60 40 split in the back seat back here so you can't do just lifting that one. Oh wait this one does this one does have it very nice okay so this comes up and you have a see it doesn't stay on its own see when you put this up it will not stay on its own it's going to come back down but it has this little snap thing here that you pop out and you pull across and you click it right here and snap it that holds the seat up for you now storage in here is actually bigger than i thought it was in person this is pretty good storage here uh now that seat's going to come down to here but this is actually pretty good storage in here uh, i'm not going to lie i'm actually impressed as a matter of fact i'll take back what i said in the other one about it being less storage this is actually more storage than i anticipated but i am a little concerned though when i look at the storage how far out the storage comes to where's where's the driver where, where's the passenger feet go in here where, where their feet go so we'll have to check that when we set that front seat but as you can see there's uh not a ton of room there for for feet to actually fit in here so we'll have to see on that but storage wise it actually looks like you get quite a bit let's go back on this side coming around over here so same kind of concept here we got that strap which i'm not going to set up but we're going to lift it up to see so it comes up that one's kind of staying on its own that's nice they have this big thing here i don't know what this is so you're a lot more limited on your storage space over here you got a little bit here you know height wise okay put it into perspective here between there so but you got a pretty good compartment there too um so that's nice but again kind of tight floor space in here between this big console and that but uh very impressive storage on the underside this thing here like i said this little strap thing is what's going to snap to here to keep this in the upright position if you want it to and we will jump in here and see what it's like on the other side in a second and see how it is back here the doors on this thing, when you open and close them, they feel very Ford F-150 like as far as solid and secure. Listen. Okay, they're very nice and easy. And they, they hit solid. I, I, I like the door. I like that a lot. That's a nice feature. And we come back in here. So you can see lots of storage there. So we're going to unsnap this. Drop that seat down. We got to retuck this little sleeve in. This goes back into there and stays in there put that headrest up if we want to now when i get in here i don't know who is sitting here but whoever that is there is no chance i mean there is i'm only five six and we are jammed we are jammed jammed i mean there is nothing but what that tells you is that they give you a lot of room to be able to come back if you're a taller person with the seat which might be nice let's go see what that looks like as far as the seating position is up there also cup holders here nice setup got the grip or er, uh nice trd trim here this is plastic this is not soft touch this is soft touch in the front but here it is plastic let's go here yeah see that seat is in the absolute furthest back position that it could possibly be so we'll move that forward but here uh like the grab handles like the molly panels on here here you're getting soft touch here you're getting plastic but you got nice soft touch right there love the console setup on there very cool on this sport model i don't know if they'll be that way for all of them but i like the details of the uh, chromed out uh pedals this one is this uh no this this one this model is manual seat but so let's see where i would see where i would put it at we come in and sit in here let's see well the seating position is definitely nice let's bring it up to where i would be as a short guy okay so there's where I would drive at right there. Um, it definitely still has a, a kind of a car feel to it, but not as bad as the old one was. And I got a ton amount of headroom up here. And again, you take it for what it's worth, I'm five foot six, but I like the design of it. Look at all the stuff you could have right here, gauge wise, and all the things that could be going on here, depending on different trim levels you got and what you can do traction, control, auto headlights. You got all your stuff right here. 
set up on here, your drive modes, uh, electronic parking brake, everything we said there too. Now, but I want, I'm curious as to what that back seat space is like. Let's look at that now that I actually have that seat in my position. So now there's quite a bit of room for me as somebody who's five six sitting in the front. When somebody else gets in the back, you can see I got a ton of leg room in here now for me. So probably even somebody maybe five nine six foot, you'd probably be still okay and comfortable. There's a lot of give in the seat back, so you could probably still be pretty okay in here. There's there's more room in this one than I think there was in the last one. So that's a nice feature. Doors seem bigger too. Okay. And now when we look in here and we come back up to the front, we come in, uh, we are hard plastics everywhere in here, but it's a nice look, nice trim line. Let's hit the start button and see what the sound looks like. See what our gauge cluster is like. Very nice gauge cluster. I like that a lot. That looks very, very nice. And you got a lot of options where you can set different ones on here and change things around. Here's your screen. Okay, so you got your screen set up, volume knob here. We're not going to do all this stuff. They can set that up. And so we'll leave that. But that's a quite a screen. That's a lot of screen. I mean, that is a lot of screen if you look at that size-wise to my hand. Okay, that is a lot of screen on there. That's a beautiful, beautiful setup right there. Um, and uh, like I said, so we got, I want to see if mode. Yeah, so that mode button does change that. Like I said, it would. You can see it right here above my finger. So as I hit mode, it's that simple to change. That's a beautiful thing. So you don't have to mess around with having to go into here to change your climate stuff. You want it hotter, turn it hotter. Want it colder, turn it colder. Too loud, too quiet, turn it up, turn it down. Fan speed up and down and a mode button to change your settings. Okay, you want air on, hit the air on. So sweet, simple, and easy. Defrost right there. So I like the layout of that. I like that a lot. You got a compartment right here that'll hold a cell phone kind of thing set up there it's probably got wireless charging in some of them and you also have your usb ports there and a 12 volt down here so i, I like the setup and uh vehicle will turn off in one hour got it's all it's the same thing that the other tacoma does as well too uh mirror setup on there your regular stuff so inside it's uh like i said it's, it's i like it inside these are kind of nice uh rather than little rubber ones these are actually plastic so when you put your cups in there they'll actually press those and you know it'll it'll squeeze that out of the way and keep them from rattling so nice feature you got tow haul mode what do we got for drive modes does it do anything if i hit drive modes this is a two-wheel drive uh we got right there hang on let me hit yes on that where's my okay button okay um so doors open yes the doors open let me close that and let's clear that so we got uh sport mode see it on the dash here sport mode i turn the knob we got sport we got normal which way is it? There's normal. And we got eco mode. So those are the three ones you get in this TRD Sport two-wheel drive. Again, that'll vary when you get into four-wheel drive. We just don't have a four-wheel drive to look at right now or play with. Uh, so those are your modes. That's kind of cool, though, that that screen does that. Like I said, tech-wise, if you're a tech guy, this thing's probably pretty loaded up with tech. So uh, nice setup. We're going to go ahead and turn this back off. We're not driving it today. I don't do driving impressions. I don't have the time or energy to, um, but we are going to look at the rest of this now. So, but inside, very nice vehicle, no doubt about it. Very nice. Now, valence wise, this one here seems pretty stiff, but I'm not, I don't know if you, you know, that, like I said, makes me a little nervous on the off-road side, um, but most people are gonna take that right off. I believe that is part of a, you know, MPG deal. You can see it now it lit up we just had the fog lights go off but like i said i like the design of it i like the look of this thing um overall the appearance of this thing is pretty great you can see again here too what packages are actually included in this on this is an upgrade what they got basically looks like uh looks like they got about uh about 30 3500 in packages updates on here and the details and there's your msrp price and it is two-wheel drive sport okay and uh but like i said i i'm, I'm digging the look of it uh the sport's going to get you the uh color match molding and stuff like this on here too which i think looks really good on here um like i said looks like a nice truck um you know plastic is good because it doesn't you know it's easy to repair and it's easy to to maintain and it's cheap to replace so i'm, I'm not a not a problem with some of that kind of stuff on there 
Um, and I like the bed. Like I said, uh, this one here has the cleat track system, which I know is an option on some. It does not have a rear sliding opening window on there. Uh, so, that you know, this particular one, I'm sure you can get it with it. It has the Predator steps on it. So that's basically, uh, here's your supply list if you want to see where parts are made for what's on here. And uh, you get Toyota care with it. And uh, But that's kind of the look of what we're, we're talking about here. That is a quick walk around of the brand new 2024 Tacoma. Now the difference really, I believe the only difference between this and the four wheel drive is gonna be, you're not gonna see it on the outside other than the, I, don't, I think only the Sport gets that hood, but don't quote me on that. I do not know that for sure. Uh, maybe the other ones do, but I always thought that the, the hood scoop was a Sport only version. It was in the past. Um, but otherwise it's not gonna look a whole lot different. Um, other than the fact that it'll be four-wheel drive and you may get different tires depending on the package that you're going with but um, it, in person it's it's a very sexy truck there is no doubt about it it is a very sexy looking truck i like the lines i like the appearance to it um, i like the way it looks and uh you know like i said i like that this is here like it should be on a truck rather than my forerunner tucked up underneath and wait for that tailgate to come down good guard on the top of it Like that, like I said, nice caps on here too. Protect the top of that up there. And uh, you still have your layouts on there. Now I do notice, it's interesting, you have board toppers on here where you can put boards across the top two locations for it. Um, you got your four tie down points on here, same as what they were in the other models as well too. Like I actually put more of these, I replaced that frame bolt or took those frame bolts out and put two of these on those frame bolts up there too to have more tie down points in my last Tacoma. But you don't get a, uh, the individual ones here where they drop in and prevent stuff from sliding forward. And this model does not have any of the cubbies or any of the chargers or any of the extra stuff in this in this two-wheel drive sport model. You're not getting any of those extra, um, you know, setups that they offer. And I don't think you're getting the tail, you don't get the tail light button on here as well too. Some of those features that'll, you know, higher end packages. Um, but like I said, nice truck. Okay, nice. I, I like it. I like the setup of it. Um, and that I believe covers and does our whole walk around on there. We can do one peek under here I think is the only place I haven't shown you or looked at this yet Is right here Otherwise, I think I've shown you pretty much every part of this And there we go and even their uh, I think their key fob which I have right here See if their key fob is, uh oh, hang on, which one is theirs? Because I got Toyota ones. So their key fob is basically the same exact thing as what the other key fobs were, all the Toyota key fobs. So it doesn't look like any major changes there as, as well, too. So uh, that's basically it as far as the, um, the motor. You've seen it and things. I'm not opening the hood and playing with all that kind of stuff or messing with it. But uh, like I said, good looking truck. There is no doubt about that. It is definitely a sexy looking truck. And if you were to take this and put it on 33s, um, I bet it looks even better. Like I said, it's, it is for sure a very, very good looking truck. And it feels bigger. It feels bigger than the last gen Tacoma by quite a bit. Even when you sit on the inside here and we're in here, this feels much more... Um, it just feels bigger out the front when you're looking at it out of the front. Um, now, it's definitely a higher hood but it feels bigger there. Inside wise, it doesn't feel much different in here, you know, from left to right as you're driving and it doesn't, I don't, my, the cockpit does not feel much bigger, just feels more refined and updated with more tech. It's kind of how it feels here and what it looks like, but the hood, the view out of the hood, the hood is huge. The hood is definitely huge on this thing. Um, I mean, it, it's huge. <laughs> and this, this seat doesn't come up much higher, I don't think. Uh, it does it. Yeah, it does. Seat is manual crank seat. So this lever, even in a manual seat right here, will bring the seat up just like Jeep does. Same exact thing. So I'm raising up and down with that. So that's nice. Um, so you can get above that hood because that hood is massive in size, but they all are today. Colorado's the same way. Um, I'm sure the new Ford's that way, all the, the heavy duty truck or uh, 15, like the Chevys, all, all of them are going to these really tall hoods and this one's no exception. So, um, and, uh, and view seems pretty good. I like the ledge right here a lot. This is kind of nice how they squared this off and flattened it, but it's like wider here. 
and very narrow back here. Like where I put my arm at here, this this sucks. This is very hard, and there's nothing to lean on here. But up here, it's nice and wide. I mean, there's that would look where it'd be real comfortable. Here, there's nothing to lean on here, and like I said, it's very very hard. But there's no nothing there that's so narrow it's not catching my elbow at all. So that's kind of a weird uh, situation. See the taper in it. That should be actually taper any other way, I would think. Because, uh, like I said, you're not putting your arm up here. You're putting your arm back here. And this, this is no fun there. But, like I said, you know, I like the, I like the truck. Um, I like the setup. So, here we go. I'm popping back out of here. Your door controls, window controls. Um, and uh, I wonder if, actually... We're going to start this for a second because I want to see if those windows are like that. Because the biggest pet peeve I have in my Jeep... I have auto down but not auto up windows and it drives me nuts. Let's see if this does. Okay, oh, hang on. Put that up, let's see here. Okay, we got auto down window, work like a champ. Does it auto up? It does auto up. That is a nice feature. What about the passenger one? I'm not gonna do it, it's got a window sticker. But that's nice. See on my Jeep, I have auto down. It does not go that fast. But I don't have auto up, I have to hold the button. Here you got auto up. So that's a very nice feature in here. Like I said, whoever thought about how they designed it, the Jeep bumped their head. Um, vents there. So, all right, I think we're going to wrap this up here. That pretty much shows this truck. But uh, like I said, you know, props to Toyota for some of the stuff they did on here. Like I said, they've got some, there, there's some improvements here. There's no doubt about it. Um, and, you know, if you watch my other videos, you've seen my my thoughts on as far as like the off-roading and, you know, some of that kind of stuff. And we got to put that window back up. The back window is still down. So we'll start that up and put that up. Is that up? There we go. Now it's up. But uh, so like I said, I mean, it's uh, this is all the details of it. So you can see it. I thought they were integrating. Well, this two wheel drive, but I thought they were going to do a brake controller which I'm sure will go right in that cubby right there on the ones, the other ones, but this one doesn't seem to have that tow package on there. But, uh, and the Predator steps, how are they to get in? I don't use them. Most people just step right over, but how are they to get in? Hey, okay, they are fine. So they work good. So that's good. Like I said, nice truck. Nice truck. And this is that XP package with the wheels and the setup. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.